Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. Um, this week is going to be a little bit different because I decided to do a no kit plan with me. Um, and I did decide to use kind of a pink and green theme to go along with the colors of the planner itself because it is the transition week from February, which is pink, into March, which is kind of a sea foamy green. Uh, so the first thing I am doing is just putting down some washi on the bottom of the page and I am whiting out the little lines. Uh, they showed through pretty badly when I kind of looked at it, so I decided to just go ahead and white it all out. Had a couple of little snafus with that white out. The, it came in a pack with one orange one and one blue one, and the orange one just does not work well for some reason. The blue one is fine, um, but I couldn't find the blue one when I was working, so I had to use the orange one. And it's strange because they're the exact same brand. They should not be that different from one another, but they are. Um, so I'm just starting with this kind of seafoam green washi with a gold quatrefoil design. It is foil and it is gorgeous, especially when it catches the light. Um, I tried to use a lot of gold foil accents this week. I just, I thought it worked really well with the colors of the kit, or well, not the kit, with the colors of the spread. Sorry, there's no kit. What am I talking about? <laughs> it's going to be another hot mess express week, y'all. Okay. And then I'm just going in over the top of the green quatrefoil with some kind of blush pink with gold polka dots. Um, I do need to apologize for the fact that you are going to see the top of my head a lot in this video. For whatever reason, when I do a no kit spread, I have to get a lot closer to the planner. And I don't really know why that is. I guess because I'm using the slice tool, maybe that's why I need to be closer because I can't see it very well. I don't know. So again, just doing the same thing on the other side. Part of the reason I decided to do this as a sped up with voiceover is because it literally took me 25 minutes to do the bottom washi and the sidebar in the spread, y'all. <laughs> because there was so much cutting of washi and putting down white out and all this stuff. Like, it was insane how long it took. Um, but it does get done, so that's literally going to be like half the video is just me doing that part of the spread <laughs> because of how long it took me to cut this washi, which is why I don't really use much washi once I get to working on the days of the week. Um, I may later go back and add some, but for now, there is very little washi on the days of the week. At least in terms of, like, actual roll washi. So this does just take a little while. And I am using the Erin Condren ruler. That is a very, very old one. I don't even remember which planner that one came in. It didn't come with this planner, I know. Um, and then the slice cutting tool from Amazon which I will try and link below because, y'all, that thing is amazing. Um, I did cut into the paper a little bit, unfortunately, uh, but it worked out okay because on the other side of this, I had already done my March monthly spread, so everywhere I cut through the paper, I just cut into the back of a sticker so it didn't leave a hole. So the next thing I am working on is my sidebar. This piece up at the top of the sidebar took forever. I don't know what I was thinking, cutting it exactly along the edges of the Thankful Thought box. For whatever reason, I did not dis measure the sticker that I was going to put down, because I am going to put a Happy Planner sticker up there. And so just like, I didn't measure it for some reason and didn't realize it was going to be like, what, eighth an inch, quarter of an inch off. Um, so I had to take out that piece of washi. I lost a lot of this pink washi doing this spread, y'all. Oh my goodness. But so I ended up putting down another piece. And this time I'm going to put that sticker down on top of it. And then put some more of it underneath. Um, so that it has a nice background that is the proper size. Um, so I 
you don't end up seeing very much of this gold and pink washi at all because actually there is a little tiny place at the bottom that doesn't have washi beneath it and I'm about to put a different washi underneath it um, as you can see there so I'm using a different one this washi is another seafoam green but it has gold polka dots and I believe it is from the washi life um, I'm not 100% positive on that, but now I'm just going down the side of the sticker, cutting off the excess bits of the washi tape, um, just so it looks a little bit more like it is a box rather than the hot mess that it looked a moment ago. Sorry, I had to adjust my headphones. Um, so it did take a couple of tries to get this right, and again, you see a lot of my head during this because... I had to get really, really close to see what I was doing and kind of be able to get those tiny little strips of washi taken up. Because I, yeah, I've been sick for a while and I was just not doing very well on <laughs> cutting straight lines and things like that when I was doing this. Um, so there you just see me checking the March monthly page to make sure that I haven't accidentally cut through before I go and start cutting the other side. Thankfully on this side where I accidentally cut through the page a little bit it is the sidebar of the monthly and that's just like a solid row of stickers so no problems there. Okay um, so now I had to go through my binder so you guys are getting kind of a peek at some of my sticker organization because I needed habit trackers and I forgot to pull them. Um, so these are just from Adorably Amy Designs. I was just kind of using the washi to pick my colors. So I ended up finding one that was pretty close to the pink and one that was pretty close to the teal and using those. Um, unfortunately the colors are never going to be perfect just because I think I counted and I used like eight different shops not including washi shops um, plus a bunch of happy planner stickers so there's a lot of stuff so I'm just whiting out so that I can put this cute bow washi down the bows are really far apart so this probably wasn't the best place to put it um, I did kind of have to move the washi a little bit because I didn't want there to be like random gaps and then of course, it needed more white out because I had moved the washi. And now I'm just kind of cutting through to make it look right and get all the excess off. Um, I, just, I thought it would look better if you were able to kind of see the bows cut through. Like it would be, I don't know, a little more obvious that it was washi and not just like two random bow stickers in the middle of my sidebar. Um, that's probably the one piece of the spread that I'm not completely happy with is those bows, honestly. They just, they don't work well on the Erin Condren vertical pages, um, just because of the width between the bows. Then I'm just putting down a sticker from the, um, Happy Planner book, or several stickers actually. I'm about to put down another one that is a box with some lines in it. But before I put that down, I am putting down some more of the pink with gold polka dot washi. And that takes me a good couple of minutes to get done because it was just very difficult. And the box was really big, so I didn't have it quite right the first time I put it down. So I had to kind of pick it up and then move some washi around and things like that to make it work. So it does look really cute in the end. It just took some doing to get it the way I wanted it which is kind of the story of my life when it comes to planning um, so I put it down once lining up the dots like you see here um, and then later on I did figure out that that just was not quite big enough so instead of cutting more washi and wasting washi I end up just picking it up and moving it so that the washi shows both above and below the sticker that you see there on my coil. Um, so, and again, it did take me a little bit of time to get this to cut properly. 
just because I wasn't cutting in straight lines like well at all. I was having a really hard time. So there you can see I'm realizing that that's not going to work. So I pick it back up and put a little bit of space between the two slices of washi so that, that way you can see a little bit on either side of that sticker. And I tried to line it up as best as I could so that it looked like the pattern was continuous. Um, so I think it worked pretty well. <laughs> we'll see what you guys think. And now I'm just putting down a Happy Planner full box sticker. I did not, or yes, I did go through and white out. Okay, I can't remember what I did and did not white out anymore. Um, but I did go ahead and white out the lines and then put down this white box with gray polka dots. Um, because I decided that black and gray would be a good accent color to add to this since it was in that sticker that I used for the um, Thankful Thought Box. And then I just used a flag from another Mambi sticker sheet that says, Sky above me, earth below me, fire within me. Okay, so that was kind of it for the first day of working on this. This actually took me two days to do. I was not feeling well, um, so I started to go in and do some more work on this that night, but I decided not to. So this is me coming back on day two um, to finish it off. So today I'm going to be working pretty much entirely on the days of the week, and I totally just realized, like, you can see off the edge of my Wow, I gotta fix my camera angles. I have a hard time seeing it because of the way I have it set up, and you can definitely like see down into my lap <laughs> as I'm working on this. That's fun. Okay, uh, so first thing I am doing is finding some glitter headers to go with the colors I have chosen. Um, and at first I cho chose these chunky pink ones and then some chunky gold ones that you'll see here in just a second. And of course I have to reposition them because, you know, I can't put anything down straight. Um, so I don't know where the chunky pink ones are from. The chunky gold is from Ben's Design Company, but I did end up picking those up and taking those off um, once I got all seven days down because I decided the gold didn't really work with what I was doing in the rest of the kit. Um, so that ended up having to change just because the colors just didn't work with anything else I was using. Um, and I'll go ahead and warn you guys, like, there's going to be a lot of dead space in this section of the video, simply because I was doing a lot of grabbing my binders and kind of flipping through and trying to figure things out. Um, so here I go, ripping up those gold headers. It did rip the paper a little bit in a couple of places. Um, I'm not sure if it's sticker paper that ripped or planner paper that ripped, but one of them ripped. And then I just went back in with these finer pink glitter headers. Um, these are from the Honey Bee Shop. I do know that. I'm going to try and say the names of shops as I put things down because I don't think I'm going to remember to tag shops in the um, description bar. And I apologize that I just like hit my microphone. Um, so I have some full box heart checklists left over from a Creating Union Co. kit that I am putting down now. Um, this is her NaNoWriMo kit, actually. I don't know how I had so many <laughs> of these left over from that kit, but I had a lot of these left over. So I had five of the full boxes and then four of the checklist flags from this kit that I ended up getting to put in. So I only used two of the flag version. Um, but I did use all five of the full box checklists for the kit for Monday through Friday. And then I'm going to grab some of the checklist flags for Saturday and Sunday, which is what I'm about to do now. I've, I've got to go back to last year's planner and figure out how I have so many checklists from that kit left. Because it just doesn't make sense in my head that I have so many, you know? Um, but I did, so whatever, and I keep hitting the microphone. I'm sorry, you guys. Um, so now I'm going in and working on full boxes. Since I am using full boxes from the Happy Planner, I am not putting a header between the full boxes and the checklists. I 
didn't feel the need to because these boxes are longer since the Happy Planner does not have the space at the bottom where I put the washi. Um, so it's all from the same book. I don't have a name for the book because mine didn't have a name on the cover. I This was one of the first ones I got. Um, but some of them are from metallic sheets out of the book and some of them are from sheets that were non-metallic. And I just kind of alternated metallic and non-metallic full boxes. Um, and I tried to kind of alternate the colors too so that I didn't have two that were too similar right next to each other. Um, and I tried to pull in all of the colors that I was using in this spread with these boxes. So I was actually able to find quite a bit. So I was very happy with what I was able to find. And I even had a few extra boxes from the pages that I had picked. Um, so and I kind of was changing my mind as I went. But I did go ahead and pull those boxes on Saturday and Sunday all the way up over the first header. Um, I did not white out any of the headers in the week as I was doing this. Um, and then there were a couple of uh, quote stickers and things. Well, first I started to put in the weekend banner. I forgot about that. Um, but the Happy Planner weekend banners are narrower for some reason. They're a little bit smaller. Um, so I ended up throwing that on the bottom instead of up on the boxes. And then I put in some quote stickers that had some metallic writing on them on Sunday and Monday, I think. Yes, Monday. I have the planner right next to me. I started to put it on Wednesday and then decided it would look better on Monday. And I just thought those were cute. And they kind of went with the theme of the quotes that I had started in the sidebar. Um, so then I had to kind of pull out some more glitter headers. And you can see last week's kit underneath it because I grabbed it on accident. So I ended up deciding on these from the Pretty on Paper Co. Thanksgiving kit. Technically they're brown, but they have a very pink cast to them. So I felt like they worked, um, especially since I have kind of the pink and gold. So it's more of like a rose gold almost. I don't know. It's a very interesting color. I really love it though. I think it looks great. Um, so I only had six of the headers, but I did have a washi piece left over in the same color that was only slightly whiter than the headers. So I just went ahead and put that on Sunday. Because I figured better to be slightly too wide than to just like be totally different. Um, so, and it doesn't bother me. I'm not like a perfectionist. I don't expect my planner to be 100% perfect all the time. Um, so the next thing I was, I went and found some boxes. I am doing a 30 day squat challenge, which is so much fun. <laughs> Hence the sarcasm. Um, but I managed to find these dashed quarter boxes from Bubba Bear Studios that, again, just went really well with the colors that I had picked for this week. I was very shocked at how much stuff I had in this color scheme and, like, how well it worked. So it ended up being a really good choice. Um, I did end up moving the boxes around a little bit because I found kind of a greenish one and I didn't want to put it directly over the teal green weekend banner. Um, so I did have to move some things around a little bit. Okay, uh, what did I do next? <laughs> I don't remember. Oh, there's my elbow. <laughs> there was a lot of like going back and forth from one side to the other because I have a Raskog cart on one side of my desk and then my bed on the other. I had some stuff on the bed and some stuff on the cart, and I was going back and forth between the two as I was trying to figure out what I needed. So I had like my binder full of kit leftovers on my bed, which you can kind of see the corner of there because I was looking through for a certain page. Um, and then all of my other binders were on the cart, so I had to kind of go back and forth a little bit. Um, so I ended up pulling off a weekly weigh-in sticker, which is also from Pretty on Paper Co. It also came from that Thanksgiving kit. Um, I don't think I pulled anything else off of this page. No, I didn't. Um, because there were a few other things I needed, but I didn't see anything I liked on that particular page. Uh, so now I'm going to do a Bill Do sticker from the Honey Bee Shop. Um, again, it is left over from a kit. Um, it is from a mystery kit, uh, I believe, last April. Yeah, last April. I'm pretty sure that's what that one's from. <laughs> um, 
I've already used the kit, but you know, I kept some of the stickers that I didn't use for various reasons. Um, so I believe that this movie marquee is from uh, Creating Co. And I'm pretty sure the coffee cup is as well. Um, and so I put that to mark my Tuesday meeting. I'm not going to, well, no, I'll tell you that in a minute. Because I actually remember I made a point to leave a space to say that. Um, but so I decided to mark my Tuesday meeting that way. And then I had to go back through and find my film edit and upload stickers in here. So you guys can kind of see it's semi-organized. It's not super well organized. And then I realized something weird had happened with the rings. And so my protectors were stuck. It, it was weird. Anyway, I pulled out some Honeybee Shop film edit upload stickers. And I was about to put it down. Um, just on the spread itself, but I decided I wanted something behind it. So back to the binder I go to, well, first I'm getting a payday sticker apparently. I was like all over the place. Wow. You would think I would remember this because I literally filmed it like 30 minutes before I'm recording this voiceover, but I don't remember. <laughs> um, <laughs> so I got a payday sticker from Adorably Amy Designs. Um, it, it doesn't match perfectly, but it coordinates. It's close enough to the right pink, so I went with it. And then I pulled out these really cute glitter labels from Wild Summer Designs, and I ended up using the gold glitter version. Um, I do have them in silver and rose gold as well, but since I was using gold in the kit already, I stuck with that. And now I am putting the film edit and upload stickers on top of the labels, just because I thought it was cute. Um, and it also kind of makes the film edit and upload stickers pop a little bit. Uh, so I don't remember why I decided to put that one for upload instead of for edit. There was a reason in my head. I don't remember what it is. That's fun. Um, so yeah. And then I ended up picking one that was very similar in color to put edit on. I don't know you guys. They're slightly different. The one that Edit is sitting on is a little bit lighter than the one Upload is sitting on. Um, but I just, I honestly cannot remember for the life of me what the reasoning was for not just using that Upload sticker on Wednesday. Um, and then I was digging through looking for these little camera stickers from Megan Sticky Stuff to mark Instagram posts because I've got to get better about posting my Instagram spreads. I totally just realized you cannot see the one on Sunday at all. That's fun. You'll see it in a minute. It's pink. I promise. Um, once I get done writing, you will see it if you don't see it before that. Uh, so then I just went in and started to fill everything in while I was there. Um, so allergy meds and writing on the sidebar and then putting in my challenges for every day of the squat challenge for this particular week. Um, so right there I am filling in my midweek and then on this side now you can see my cute little pink sticker for my full week. Um, I had to kind of reference the little sticky note. You can see it down there in the bottom corner of your screen <laughs> if you're watching this. Um, and then write in full week, and then do I write in, yeah, I had to write a couple things on Thursday, because Thursday is the first of the month, so there are a couple of things that I have to do on Thursday, but yeah, that's pretty much my week. I do have one thing that I didn't write in, I did not write in my Tuesday meeting, because I don't know what it is yet, um, but that's it, so I will talk to you guys later. Bye!